our unvaccinated and under-vaccinated population did not appear to contribute significantly to the increased rate of clinical pertussis. Surprisingly, the highest incidence of disease was among previously vaccinated children in the 8 to 12 year age group. Based on mathematical modeling, Vaccines designed to reduce pathogen growth rate and or toxicity may result in the evolution of pathogens with higher levels of virulence. Our data indicate that Bordetella Home Z, the new pertussis strain, is circulating in Massachusetts and that Bordetella pertussis vaccination confers little protection against Bordetella Home Z. There is a new study that found the likelihood of having reported pertussis caused by this new protactin deficient pertussis compared to protactin producing pertussis is greater in vaccinated persons. That new study goes on to say, case patients having received at least one pertussis vaccine dose had a higher odds of having protactin negative Bordetella pertussis compared with unvaccinated case patients. Bordetella home Z was isolated from nasopharyngeal specimens of previously healthy persons who had whooping cough-like symptoms, including paroxysms, whooping, or post vomiting. Therefore, Bordetella holmesy appears to be able to colonize the respiratory tract in the same manner as other Bordetella species. A case study in Japan also found epidemiologic links between five persons colonized with Bordetella holmesy, which indicates the ability of this pathogen to transmit from person to person. We showed that acellular pertussis vaccination resulted in an approximately 40-fold increase in Bordetella parapertussis lung colony forming units. Further, we show that AP vaccination impedes host immunity against Bordetella parapertussis measured as reduced lung inflammatory and neutrophil responses. Thus, we conclude that AP vaccination interferes with the optimal clearance of Bordetella paraprotestin and enhances the performance of this pathogen. Our data raise the possibility that widespread AP vaccination can create hosts more susceptible to Bordetella paraprotestin infection. An acellular whooping cough vaccine actually enhances the colonization of Bordetella paraprotestis in mice, pointing towards a rise in B paraprotestis incidence resulting from acellular vaccination, which may have contributed to the observed increase in whooping cough over the last decade. We present evidence that in the Netherlands, the dramatic increase in pertussis is temporarily associated with the emergence of Bordetella pertussis strains carrying a novel allele for the pertussis toxin promoter, 
which confers increased pertussis toxin production. Epidemiologic data suggests that these strains are more virulent in humans. We discussed changes in the ecology of bee pertussis that may have driven this adaptation. Our results suggest that vaccination may select for increased virulence. observation that AP vaccination, which induces an immune response mismatched to that induced by natural infection, fails to prevent colonization or transmission, provides a plausible explanation for the resurgence of pertussis. Our data suggests that the current schedule of acellular pertussis vaccine doses is insufficient to prevent outbreaks of pertussis. We're successful, patients get vaccinated, 